new video series called 24 Restore. The idea is that we take something and in less than 24 hours, with less than $24, we flip something and make it brand new and super cool. Now most of the time we're gonna start with something off the free section of Craigslist because we really need to maximize those $24. So I'm kicking off the series today. I'm starting with a file cabinet. So I had this idea while I was browsing the free section of Craigslist. There are a ton of file cabinets, especially here in LA. File cabinets are cool because they're sort of this commodity. They're pretty much standardized and they're made out of pretty much all metal. Because if you know me, one of the things I hate is new sort of synthetic, cheap feeling materials. Like the kind of particle board you get from Ikea, I'm not into that. I'm into metal, wood, glass. But if you just look at a file cabinet, it kind of screams office, obviously. And I probably will be using this in my office, but I wanted to dress it up a little bit. I wanted to take this thing that is this cheap, tough commodity and make it into a piece of furniture that I can enjoy in my home office. All right, at this point, I have the project completely done. The file cabinet is sitting right here, and let me tell you about how the build went. So here you can see what it looks like when I first got it. You can see that cosmetically, it's not so great. There's a good amount of rust and dirt on it, but it was really functional. All the drawers did roll really well. There were other options on Craigslist at the time that were in better cosmetic condition, but this is definitely the size that I wanted. So before I picked up any supplies, I wanted to get a closer look and get this rust taken care of. I brought it out to my patio and started to attack it using this Loctite rust dissolver. This stuff works really well, but I wouldn't call it a miracle. It's basically gonna get us to the point where we're able to paint over just about any rust. You basically just apply it, wait, clean it off with a wet rag and just kind of complete the process as you see fit. And if you have a little scraper, it's definitely gonna go a lot better to get some of the bigger chunks off. I just did this until it was basically smooth to the touch. Next, before I picked up supplies, I wanted to make sure that I was gonna be able to remove this hardware easily. Basically, you just take these two bolts out, which is how you can remove the handle. And then this whole metal plate just comes off and then we can get access to the kind of cinched metal on the back of the label holder. Next, I headed over to Home Depot on my very tight budget to pick up some supplies. I basically decided to get spray paint and carpet. I got like this hammered black color from Rust-Oleum. This was specifically advertised to stop rust and hide surface imperfections. I went with two of these and you can see I still have a good amount left. Next for the hardware, I went with this metallic pure gold color. It's an all surface paint and primer, works on metal, pretty simple, also cheap. And yeah, I just said carpet. So my idea was to coat the inside of the file cabinet and maybe the top with some carpet to help quiet things down and also make it a softer surface if I wanted to just put camera gear or things like that inside. I was able to pick up super, super cheap, pay by the foot carpet. You can see this is about $3 for six feet by one foot. So with all those supplies, that came to a total of about $26. Okay, I'm not off to a good start, but I have a lot of carpet left over and a lot of paint left over. I'm gonna say it's fine. I'm gonna use this on plenty of other projects. It's fine. I 
I pretty much did two coats. I just kind of kept going over it as it would dry over the next like hour and a half. And again, I'm not being super careful and precise because I was kind of leaning in to the idea of this having some imperfections. And of course I did the same thing to the metal hardware, put those on a piece of plywood and just sprayed those down a few times with this gold color. As for the carpet, I decided I was gonna put some pieces behind that metal frame, basically where the hardware goes. The idea was one of the loudest parts of the file cabinet was when that metal on either side of the, the face of the drawer would kind of bend and crease. It would make this awful loud sound. My girlfriend did not like that. I also cut down pieces of carpet to fit on the inside of the drawers. For this, I just used this spray adhesive I had left over from another job. Now, I went back and forth about this a lot and then finally decided to carpet the top as well. And so with this, I cut it down to just about the right size and then basically just kept trimming and trimming until everything seemed lined up really flush. Recently, I've been just a giant fan of, of coating surfaces in nice to touch materials. You know, I have my Alcantara desk here. I'm gonna do a future video on that. I'm also about to buy just a giant roll of cork that I'm gonna put on a ton of things. Cutting carpet, you get all these frayed ends. And if you're gonna be seeing the edge of it, you're gonna to wanna to go over that with a lighter. What that's gonna do is just sort of melt the end of the carpet and gonna make it look really, really tidy like it was designed and pre-cut for that length. Keeping with this idea of texture, I decided to add a little bit of this gold color to just the front of the drawers. I just held it really far away and did these just little tiny sprays that would kind of give it this splattered look. And at this point, I waited for everything to dry and pretty much put it all back together. So all in all, I did finish this for $26, but we're gonna fudge that. It really only took like 10 hours, including finding it on Craigslist, messaging the person and picking it up. I'm really, really happy with the outcome. It's been sitting next to my desk here, kind of creating this L-shaped thing. And, and I've got a bunch of camera gear and files already in it. Or I actually might use this as a dresser. I think it looks premium enough that I wouldn't mind having it in my bedroom, which was really the goal of this whole thing. I think a lot of other 24 restores might start with a file cabinet as the base and go much further. Please let me know in the comments if you like this video series, if you want to see more, and feedback about maybe what I could do for future projects or to future file cabinets.